Today, John and I are at CES, along with every other YouTuber you can think of. Now that is a motley looking crew if I've ever seen one. Indeed it is. CES is the annual showcase where the tech world comes to unveil the innovations that will possibly bankrupt their company. Yeah, Pete, but some of these innovations will find their way into your smart home. You can count on that. What are they? Well, here are eight things we learned at CES 2024. Matter matters. It's been a rocky start for the Matter protocol launch, but despite Matter so far failing to live up to any of its promise, home automation companies be like, We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Kara, Govi, GE Sync, Flick, Yeelight, and so many more are enthusiastically touting their expanded Matter device lineups at CES this year. Interestingly, Hubitat and Homey did not have a presence at CES this year, but both hubs added Matter device control with recent firmware updates, and the Homey Pro is also now a thread border router using this free update. Bottom line, either Matter is the future of home automation, or there is no future for home automation. AI is everywhere, and every vendor got the memo. Mention AI or you're not allowed into CES. Well, that's what it seemed like anyway. This meant that everybody was touting their AI, whether it made sense or not. Some of it's pretty cool, like the upcoming Akara M3 Hub, which will offer AI assist to allow the creation of automations using voice or text. The SmartThings Map View was announced, which uses AI to map your house and create the most functional smart home dashboards to date. It's very cool and might be worth giving SmartThings a second look. Only time will tell. Gobi's adding AI to its TV and monitor sync lights to detect on-screen flashes and explosions. This provides improved dynamic lighting effects. These pillows use AI to keep you from snoring, which would make my wife sleep a lot better. There's even AI robot bartenders to get you tipsy. At least when we're enslaved by our new AI overlords, we probably won't care too much. If you still mow your lawn, you're a sucker. Robot lawnmowers are everywhere at CES, and I'm here for it. You couldn't swing a dead cat on the show floor without hitting one. As a side note, you'll have to bring your own dead cat, because these lawnmowers are pretty good about not running over small animals anymore. Like kids fighting to be the first to press the elevator button, these mowers all claim to be the first robot lawnmower to work without a boundary wire. There was even a robot snowblower from Yarbo that was both awesome and terrifying. I'm from Minnesota, Yarbo. Hit me up and let's put this to the test. Of course, all the mowers at CES use AI to spot and avoid objects in your yard like never before. Technology is improving rapidly in this category, and I look forward to never mowing my lawn again, whether it's because I have a robot do it or my son is finally old enough to take over. If you still vacuum your house, you're a sucker. If your swinging cat missed a lawnmower, it would probably hit a robot vacuum. There's lots of options here. Combination vacuum mops are all the rage, allowing the vacuum to do multiple surfaces with a single pass. Roborock has a vacuum that is matter compatible with a base station that connects to a water line and a drain. Self-filling, self-cleaning. Nice if you have access to a wet wall. Narwhal has a special airlock bag trash compactor-ish type thingy that can hold twice as much debris without needing to be emptied. Interesting design. And if you just so happen to spill a box of ball bearings on your kitchen floor, this is the perfect vacuum for you. And of course, with AI learning, these vacuums are more efficient than ever. Grilling gets smart. If you are a grilling hack like me that is tired of burning steaks, you're going to love what's coming to your deck or patio. Let's start with Weber, the granddaddy of grills. They introduced a new smart griddle, a smart smoker, and my new favorite thing ever, the Summit Smart Gas Grill. Using the touchscreen on the front or your mobile app, you can dial in the desired temperature of the grill and your food, and like magic, it just makes it happen. It adjusts the burners, tells you where to put the meat, when to flip it, when to take it off, how to chew it, maybe, but there's no more guesswork. It also has a built-in infrared broiler for a blazing fast sear. Current Backyard has an all-electric grill with a fancy app that takes out all the guesswork too. It heats up super fast up to 700 degrees. It's like a George Foreman grill on steroids. And this thing is pretty wild. It's an all-infrared grill from Sear Grills that can cook a steak to perfection in two minutes. How? Using AI, of course. Always AI. Smart Home Security. There is no shortage of smart locks coming to the market this year. Perhaps the most interesting was the Visage from Lockley. It uses facial recognition to unlock the door, which was pretty cool to watch. Lockley stores up to 100 faces and can use fingerprint, key code, and Apple Home Key. According to the lock picking lawyer, it's one of the most pick proof smart locks ever made. Phillips has a new lock that opens by reading your palm. Who knows, maybe its AI will unlock the ability to tell your future. 
New fingerprint locks are also on the way for Makara and Securum. If you're into security cameras, RioLink was showing off a new dual lens panoramic camera with all the megapixels. And I do mean all. And you won't believe this, but the camera incorporates AI to detect people, animals, vehicles, and whatnot. How novel. I'm still a terrible golfer. Not that I need a $20,000 Foresight GC Hawk launch monitor to tell me that, but it would be pretty cool to have. Unlike this thing that was loaded with AI and did basically nothing. Seriously, I could whip up a new app in 20 minutes that would do more for your golf game than whatever this thing is. Moving on. Smart home YouTubers are a-holes. Okay, they're not. I mean, John is, but everyone else is super, super nice. I wanna give a quick shout out to all the creators we met and hung out with at the show. Shane Watley, George Langabeer, Steve from Steve Does, Reed from Smart Home Solver, Eric from Modern Day Tech, Jimmy from Jimmy Hawk and Smart Home, Brandon Doyle, Mark and Valerie from At My Home, Rob from The Hookup, Eric Wielander, Matt from Undecided with Matt Farrell, and Ryan from This Smart House. Also, special thanks to all the significant others who support us creators. It was really great to meet some of you at CES. Others, like my wife, are at home, they're watching the kids, earning actual money, and dealing with whatever automations are going haywire while I'm here having fun at Vegas. Thank you, I love you, and I couldn't do this without your support. That's it for CES 2024. Thanks for watching, everybody.